Hello and welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to learn about study of compound. This chapter is under ICSE standard 10th syllabus. So today's our topic is preparation of hydrochloric acid using HCl gas. This is hydrogen chloride gas. We want to make a liquid from the gas. So from hydrogen chloride gas, we are going to make hydrochloric acid, which is in the liquid form. So we all know that hydrogen chloride gas is very, very soluble in water. So we will dissolve the gas into the water. So HCl gas will dissolve in the water and it will make hydrochloric acid. That water will get acidic property and it will become hydrochloric acid. So here I have displayed here two different kind of procedure. In the first procedure, I am passing hydrogen chloride gas through a gas tube and it is directly going into the water. But this process is practically not possible. So practically this process is possible. Now let us understand that why process A is not possible and process B is practically possible. So first thing, direct absorption of HCl gas in water using delivery tube. This is a gas pipe, this is a delivery tube through which we are passing the HCl gas. It will cause a back suction. What is the meaning of back suction and why it is happening? That HCl is extremely soluble in the water. It is the process of absorption of gas into the water will be very fast. So when we are passing this gas, when we are adding this gas into the water through this delivery tube, what will happen? This gas will dissolve very rapidly. So because of the vacuum created here, the water will try to go up because it is dissolving very fast. So this water will get into the delivery pipe. HCl is extremely soluble in the water. So what will happen directly immersed in the water and creates partial vacuum in the tube. It is directly coming out. This is a gas and it is directly coming out. So it is rapidly dissolving here. So the water will go up. The process of the HCl gas getting soluble in the water is very fast compared to the gas coming out from the pipe. So what will happen that water will go up. So because of this the vacuum will create over here and water will go up because there is a lack of air here and water will go up. So the outside pressure pushes water up and damages the apparatus. As the water will rapidly go up, this gas delivery tube will, will be damaged because of the force of water is because of the force of water and the speed of water which is going so fast. So this process when directly we are adding a gas pipe to the water or delivery tube we are putting into directly a water. So because of the vacuum created here the water will go up and it will damage our apparatus. So the process is known as back suction. So when we are adding or when we are arranging an assembly in which the delivery tube is directly immersed in the water, it will create back suction. So this process is not practically useful to make hydrochloric acid. So that's why we have to use this process B in which we are using funnel. So let us discuss this. Now let us understand a second type of procedure. In this procedure we have arranged a funnel and how we have arranged a funnel and why that funnel has been arranged to prevent back suction which we have seen in the figure A that this will create a back suction and it will damage our apparatus. So with this funnel arrangement we can prevent back suction. The second thing it provides large surface area for absorption. So our process will be 
fast in this case. This funnel surface area is large compared to this delivery tube. So the HCl gas will get a large surface area over the water. Now why this arrangement has been done and how it will work? We have placed a funnel as that it touches the water surface. It is not completely into the water or there is no gap in between the funnel and water. So the second thing is if back suction occurs, in this arrangement if the back suction occurs then water rises up and falls back. So it will not damage our apparatus and when this will happen? When the outside and inside pressure will equalize. At that time the water will fall back again. And again some absorption will happen and again the water if the back suction happens and water goes up then after the equalization of the pressure outside and inside it will again fall back into the beaker. So it will not go up and up and it will not damage our apparatus. So this is a process by which we can make a hydrochloric acid from the hydrogen chloride gas. And the first arrangement is not useful because of the back section but the second arrangement we are using at the laboratory.